welcome to the sixth day of the 31 days of Halloween. This fallen angel hasn't fallen for good reasons to earth. She's fallen for evil reasons to earth. But first off, what you have to do in order to make an angel is you need to make her beautiful. Make her glowing like the angel she used to be. So right now I'm adding a nice light flesh color foundation to her whole face. A little bit lighter than her own. Just so it gives it a nice ethereal appearance. And a nice base to work off of. This was a perfect model for me. Bet you didn't know that angels had nose rings and lip piercings either, did you? <laughs> now I'm taking a little bit of white, paradise white, and I'm adding it to the highlights of the face like you normally would contour with. And don't worry, it doesn't have to be too, too perfect. But you'll see what I mean um, as bringing out her inner beauty, her inner angel. And I just highlight all the parts under her eyes, the bridge of her nose, her forehead, her Cupid's bow a little bit. You'll see that in just a second. Right there. And her chin. These are the parts that reflect light the most. And I wanted them to show up without using a lot of highlighter. I also did her neck a little bit too. Now I'm going in with a nice copper color or a light brown, light to medium brown. And I'm... Um, sinking in her cheekbones a little bit just kind of like a nice contour nice bronzing and I did this with her temples too and her nose we're redefining her face contouring it out I also take this down onto the neck too to define it out a little bit more as well. Now I'm coming in with a nice gold. I have a nice gold shimmer. I'm just applying it to where the highlights would be on the cheekbone. Do a little bit on the tip of the nose, a little bit on the widow's peak, a little bit on the chin. And then I gave her a base of gold on her eyelid to start off the eyeshadow. Then I went in with a little bit of copper and I gave her a little bit of shadow in that eyelid. Now I'm taking a nice metallic red, just a little bit, and I'm giving her a little blush. Now comes for the fallen angel part. I use a little bit of black, and I shadow out a little bit more to define it, to give it more of a rigidness. So I really wish I would have turned the head so I could show this better, but you'll be able to see it from this side. And I just shadowed it out, blacked it out. It doesn't have to look perfect. This is a fallen angel. She's fallen from heaven. She is now here on earth, and she's looking to do some damage. So, take it down onto the neck a little bit. It just makes it pop out a little bit more. And I'm just defining all, all the shadow areas. Then I went into the corner of her eye. I thought, she's a demon. She's fallen. She's going to look dark. So I decided to do her eyes up in just such a way that the shadow beneath it still shows through a little bit, but it's very dark. And she's got that fallen angel appearance.
and mostly with this I'm just taking a filbert brush and it's a little wet there's not too much color on it but I'm just blending these colors in I'm blending in the black that I added to the inner corner of the eye and I'm defining it out that way so it's not too too heavy but it gives the shape and it gives the appearance that I need it to be You can see me blending here. I had to knock off a little bit of color so it wouldn't blend too much black into the eye. But you can still see a little bit of the color underneath. Now I'm going in and I'm defining the eyebrows. And I'm just using her natural eyebrows there. I'm not making new ones I'm just defining what we have and the lighting sucks in this part and my hands in the way again dang it hand move out of the way okay thank you so most of this is beauty makeup and then you're adding in your little touches to make it a fallen angel because when you fall to earth you fall pretty hard you're going to hit it pretty hard. And depending on how you feel when you fall from heaven, you may be a dark individual. And this is a dark individual. She's not an angel you want to mess with. So I'm winging out her eyeliner too with a little bit of black paint. Give her those nice long winged eyes. draw that wing out a little bit more then I have her look up and I do line underneath her eyes but I don't think I did a full line I went pretty much halfway that way it makes it look a little more natural I didn't think she needed to have full blown black around the eye but that really won't matter here in a second you'll see why Now I'm going underneath the eye and I'm building up a little bit of black underneath there. And I'm putting heavy black underneath there. The reason I'm doing that is because they were mean to her. So one of the reasons she fell from heaven was she wanted to get away from everybody else. And because of that, it brought tears to her eyes. And these tears are dark, just like she is. Now to do this, all you have to do is you just add more water to your brush, and mostly water. Pick up a little bit of color, a little bit of black, add it in, and just keep adding water to it and let it drip. This just helps out with the effect of it being crying and the makeup just smearing. Now I'm taking a sponge with some crimson on it. And going through and making some little marks like she got bruised when she fell. Like she scraped up her skin and everything. So just little scrape marks, you know. A little bit on her nose. She didn't break any bones except for the wings off her back. But I got some scrape marks. Now I'm going in. I used a uh, metallic red with... A little bit of the flesh tone color I didn't want it to be a really bright lip color I wanted it to look more natural I think I added a little bit of gold to it just so that it would give it a nice little sheen but I didn't overdo the lips I just painted the lips in in a natural tone but with a little bit of gold right there in the middle as you can see so it makes the lips look more natural but pleasant And of course, you're going to have a little bleeding from your mouth. You probably bit your tongue or you bit your lip on the way down. 
and hitting your nose. You're going to have a little bit of a uh, nosebleed, but it's not something that's too much. So don't have a lot of blood coming out. And then with all the pressure and everything from falling from heaven, you're going to have a little blood coming out of your ears. <laughs> so we just had to add that. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we just reposition her hair. Give her that sad fallen angel appearance. And there's the final look. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below on what you think of this face painting. Thank you again for watching. Like, comment, and share. Subscribe if you haven't because more videos are to come. See you guys later. Bye-bye.